is Friday, book two-a-thon, day five. Uh, where this, where has this week gone? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> it's gone by very fast. Um, it's about 4 a.m. I uh, got up a little early because um, I wanted to go ahead and finish Bless Me Ultima. I never ended up updating you guys with how much I read last night. Um, I was able to get a good chunk read during the sprints and like just all last night I ended up reading for uh, like two hours, two and a half hours, on and off obviously because like when the sprints were ending I was like getting on Twitter and stuff but I did manage to make it up to page 200 so I um, have about 60 pages or so left um, so I woke up about an hour early uh, so I'm going to try to power through this. Um, I really want to finish this before I go into work so that I can bring Song of Solomon and finish off that today and then finish off American God so I can have at least another couple books completed. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down and um, put my hat on and uh, try to power through as much of this in the next hour so before I have to start getting ready to go to work. So I'll check in with you guys um, probably in like an hour when I have to start actually like getting out to get ready for work so i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and uh, get as much of this read as possible i hope you guys had a great night and i will check in with you guys a little bit later bye So guys, it is almost 5.45 and um, I should have been getting ready for work already, but I was so close to finishing so I wanted to power through the rest of it and I have finished Bless Me Ultima by Rodolfo Anaya, four out of five stars, maybe even a four and a half. This was really, really good guys. Um, Wow, I am really surprised that I had never heard of this until now. Um, wow, it's it's just so well written. And it follows just a kid and his life and living in New Mexico. And it has some really hard-hitting themes like PTSD and it deals with murder and, and living up to your parents' expectations and religion and like struggling with with that and wanting to like make your p mother happy because his mom wants him to be a priest but he has like all these questions about like why uh, like why would a god allow like these bad things to happen and oh, it's just so good guys oh wow um check it out it definitely um is very underrated and not very well known I think on booktube so I am really excited to get the word out about this book I might even do a full book review on this um but so good um so I've officially finished my first novel because the first thing I read the first thing I finished was obviously Green Lantern and that was a graphic novel but this is my first, like, full novel finished for Booktubeathon, and it's Friday. <laughs> um, but it was so good. It was so worth it. I powered through this in basically two days. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Um, and I really liked how the author incorporated his Hispanic heritage and incorporating um, the Spanish language and Spanish culture and oh, it was just so good. It even has elements, it has magical realism elements with a woman who, um, like, he, um, like works with like herbs and magic and oh, it's just so good. Um, oh, so good. So I have to go shower now and get ready to go to work. I'm running late now, but this is so good. I definitely recommend four and a half stars. I will check in with you guys a little bit later after I shower to let you know what my plan is for the rest of the day. 
Um, okay, I'm going to go shower. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I really quickly showered. Um, I wanted to pop in real quick before I head out to work and let you know that I am going to go ahead and pick up The Sun is Also Star by Nicola Yoon. This is my book to read with a beautiful spine. Um, it is a chunker. It's 344 pages or so, but the font is... But the font is like really big um, and it's like really bigly spaced and like the chapters are super short. So I definitely think I could get through this in one day. Um, but I wanted to pick this up just because with the kind of big books that I've been reading, like Bless Me Ultimo was like a really hard hitting book and Song of Solomon is like a really slow hard hitting book and American Gods is like this really big hard hitting fantasy. I wanted to break it up a little bit and kind of just do a really kind of simple, really fast, um, white contemporary. I also need to get caught up on my backlog of book of the month books, so I figured that this was a good way to go ahead and get started. It's summary, it's contemporary, it could, I could get through this today. Um, so I will, um, keep you updated on how this goes. Everything, everything I read last year and felt it was just okay, so we'll see uh, if I enjoy this a little bit better. But I uh, probably won't check in with you guys um, until a little bit later, but I hope you guys have a great day. Happy reading, happy Friday, happy, happy Booktubeathon day five, and I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>